Alpha, the pleasurable, the indestructible Mushu. What's Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Pop Ray. You did one half of marvelous blunts in the building. You did what I'm saying. <clears throat> Hope everybody having a great day. I'm having a great Monday. You did what I'm saying. It's Labor Day. Everybody's all. I'm obviously rapping. You dig what I'm saying. And I just hope everybody had a great weekend, a safe weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's a wild, wild world. You dig what I'm saying? So I can't even lie, man. I picked a side, dog. I'm I'm not with the movies in the theater. You feel what I'm saying? Like with this pandemic stuff, I ain't with none of that. Like I've been in the crib with it. So I was really in support of them dropping movies digital so you know what i'm saying that's what i've been doing this past couple of months is buying digital movies because i just think right now for just right now while everybody's going through this pandemic they need to just have digital releases and that's it so the most recent digital release which was supposed to be in movie theaters it's supposed to come out i think in march around my birthday Mulan, Disney's Mulan, a live action movie. You dig what I'm saying? It's fresh this weekend. It just came out this Friday, man. And whew, I can't even lie, man. Disney did their thing. Like, this maybe like my second or third live action Disney movie I've seen. And whew, Mulan was dope, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of, uh, I guess, controversy around the movie and things like that, but that shit's a bunch of bullshit for real. Like, because if you actually see the movie, it really was a good movie, you know what I'm saying? Um, despite some of the things that were missing, it was missing, which we're going to talk about in this video. You feel what I'm saying? But Mulan, man, we could just start straight up, man. It was the same story, which I liked a lot. I love that. It really was the same story, but it was a different way they told it from the cartoon. You feel what I'm saying? Which was, I think, was better for a live action version than for them to rip it straight out the cartoon version. I don't think that was working for them at all. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I rock with the fact that they freaked it a little bit for, you know what I'm saying, the new viewers. You did like it, it was like to the next level. Like she had powers and all that. Like, like it was really some Wonder Woman type shit. Like for Disney. Like, if I could really say this is what Captain Marvel was probably supposed to be for an origin story for like a female uh character, Mulan did it. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't too much of like the feminist stuff, feminism, and it was all feminism in a good way through the whole movie. You dig what I'm saying? Like it was really like a good movie. To also, for, for little girls, you know what I'm saying, just to stay motivated and, and wild, the wild world we live in, you know what I'm saying? I thought Mulan definitely was a great movie for the uh, for women representation in uh, films, for sure. Um, when we say, like, visually, visually, I think everything looked good. Like, I really love this movie. Like, visually, it looked good. It looked like um, an Asian-type movie. Like, it looked like a Mortal Kombat. It looked like a type of... Uh, uh, Asian warrior type story movie like they made it look like that from the sets and all that like it didn't look cheesy it didn't look corny you know um so shout out to whoever did the costumes and the, and the set directions and everything like that Dizzy definitely knows what to do with that one thing you know what I'm saying since obviously we talking about the things we love I love with this movie one thing I really love that they did make her Mary Sue. They didn't give her this strong power. You know what I'm saying? She failed in this joint. She trained in this joint. Like, it was to the next level of how a movie should be. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it has a woman character in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying all movies should be like Mulan, but it was a great way how they broke it down. Like, she actually was training. She failed missions. You know what I'm saying? It actually was a struggle to her for her to get to where she's at. And I'm not going to say everything because, like, it's like the cartoon but it's really not if if i could say the least like you really should watch it you did spend your 30 dollars on that you did um one thing also i love they had like i said they had a great story it was a remake but they added a twist to it i think all the singing accident the singing mushu all that extra cartoon shit i am with that a thousand like this that made the movie better not having mushu in it like I love Mushu as a kid watching that. Like, and I love the old cartoon Mulan, but this was better than the cartoon Mulan to me. Like, I'm glad they took all that cheesy, corny stuff out of it. And they still used the movie, but just in a different way. You dig what I'm saying? Um, so, live action. I definitely would go see the live action for the cartoon in a minute. It was an inspiring woman's story. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for inspiring young women just to just continue to go with the path you want to go to. Don't just go with your family. Anybody saying... 
follow your path, you know what I'm saying, and be true to yourself. Like, it really had a good message. I liked their villains, you know what I'm saying? They, they somewhat, the, the, the guy villain on there, he somewhat reminds me of um the villain from the cartoons. Like, they, they were a similar aspect, but they was, they was different as shit, you dig? So, um, then it was a witch, it was a witch, a witch that was like, kind of like, under the the, uh, the main villain guy's spell, she was just doing stuff or whatever. She just couldn't believe that Mulan was really moving, like how she was moving and she was a woman. So that's why I, woman. So I said, I don't want to give it too much because I really, really lo- love this movie. And when I love a movie, I don't really, really want to spoil anything like that because I think y'all should go see it so I can be the judge. But they had great villains. The movie was straightforward. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't all this just extenuated three-hour Disney movie for a movie that was only an hour on cartoons. You dig? So... I really did rock with that, uh, that aspect of it, how they just kept it straightforward to the Mulan, kept the story, like, actually, the way the story even ended, for real, I ain't gonna say the ending, but it could really be a second Mulan, it could really start, like, movies from this, just from this movie, so, it's gonna be interesting to see what Disney do with Mulan, or, uh, how the ratings come out for it, uh, hopefully it does good, so, they can start releasing two movies, you know what I'm saying, like, movies that come out of the theater, on digital because come on now like i want to see tenant but i'm not going to the movie theater to see it like i'm not going to I, it's for my safety i don't want to do that so they i feel like supporting the movies like mulan and supporting digital movies is going to make it so they gotta like all right we we could do both you know what i'm saying you could do both um, come on man you know what i'm saying y'all get money either way <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um I really did enjoy this Mulan movie. I didn't have any bad takes on it. I was interested in it the whole time. Um, I, I was glued to the to the TV just watching. I'm like, dang, like it sucked that you know what I'm saying that I couldn't watch it in the movie theater. But I'm gonna be real with you. Sometimes movies, I'm glad I've seen them in the house because like Mulan was a movie for me that I could have just seen it on TV and not had to go to the movies. I feel like I would have wasted my money going to see Mulan in the movie, to be honest. So, I ain't have anything to say about it. I don't have a lighter on me right now. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, I see I'm in a different spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even blazing. So, obviously, you dig what I'm saying? Um, but I give it a, a lighters up, an imaginary lighters up. I give it two lighters up for Disney's Mulan, man. If you haven't checked it out, man. Get your kids, get your girls, sit down this weekend, sometime this week, whenever you're doing. Go on Disney Plus and go see Mulan, man. Because if you don't, I mean, that's on you. But it's a great movie. And, you know what I'm saying, it might encourage you to say, hey, I can turn the house and watch some of these movies on Disney Plus like that. Because if we push and get Mulan, it'd be nice if they put Black Widow on uh, Disney as well. You know what I'm saying? I know we might not get tenant because all these other little companies not trying to spread the wealth, but... We can at least maybe get Black Widow on Disney Plus, man. But what y'all think of Mulan, man? I know it was a lot of hateration going now, man. But really, go watch the movie. Fuck the politics around it. Like, fuck all these politics shit. Like, just go enjoy the movie. It was a great movie, man. Shout out to the director. Shout out to Disney. I got one this year.